Good morning, it's Saturday, Hercules. I slept till noon, which was amazing. And then did some Peloton to work off this. I want to show you guys. It's so flubbery. Um, I just get super bloated because I'm like kind of lactose intolerant-ish. Like I won't hit the bathroom right away, but the next day never looks super tight. <laughs> I just went live and now we're eating dinner. Thanks to Byronius. <laughs> Okay, he's doing beer. I'm doing wine. We have made a pizza. Not me, Byron did. And he also whipped up this delicious looking salad. Dude. We drank. We drank too much coronavirus wine. He's so scared. <laughs> Clown shoes. Under paddock. <laughs> I drank too much of it. Undead party crasher. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Okay. I think it's um, 10%. It's very good. <laughs> hey, it's Sunday night. Me and Byron have been in our home all day. Except, no, Byron did go golf this morning. But I'm getting really, really antsy because I'm on Facebook and all the dentists are freaking out and just watching them freak out is making me freak out. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I don't know. Okay. Anyways. That's Byron, my husband. So this one person messaged me on Instagram. She's a casting agent. She wanted to know if I want to be part of this show called Mental Samurai, if I want to, um, or if I had any interest in chatting about appearing on the show. And apparently Mental Samurai is like this like game show where they ask you questions and then you have to get it right and it's like for smart people. It's a quiz show. Quiz show. Yeah. And that is so not up my alley. I don't know anything about uh, pop culture or like trivia, but you know who is? <laughs> what did you say your IQ was? No. <laughs> okay, a second ago he was bragging about his IQ. He was bragging that he tested so high when he was little. I never tested high for having a high IQ. <laughs> but I guess he did. So maybe he's my golden goose. So I messaged them. I said, no, not me, but maybe you want my husband on your show? And she said, yes. We are open to chatting about that. So Byron, wonder, you better study up because this is this is gonna be your time to shine. I wonder how much they would pay. I don't know, I think probably if you like reach a certain threshold, you get paid like a lump sum. Possibly. Then you can quit your doctor <clears throat> job. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's he's never actually, gonna he's never up. gonna be able to Let me look that up. <laughs> Even if we won money, Byron, you would still have to be a dentist. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. You have a lot of student loans. I know. And breaking news, CDA has now, it's announcing that tomorrow and for the next two weeks, our clinics must be closed and we can only see emergency patients, which is great. So what the F am I supposed to do with that? So it's 10, 12 questions. If you get them all right, then you go into the 
the uh, the uh, what's it called? Use your words. <laughs> the circle of samurai, <laughs> which they must complete if they want to take home the. Uh, oh, it's a hundred thousand. Dude, you could totally win. I don't know. I probably would get nervous. <laughs> so Byron, Byron, <laughs> you have to show the people. No, come back, come back. I'm hungry. I have to show them your impediment. No, why do you? No, this is HIPAA. Come here. No. Byron has a bump on his head. You can't see. Can you see? It's a bump. And we suspect that it's the reason for all of his memory loss. <laughs> it's not the dream. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the fact that you don't listen to anything I say. That's true. <laughs> so, aren't you going to go to the doctor this week? I'm supposed to go tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, so he's going to go to the doctor and, what, drain it? I don't know. Or like, what's happen. happening? I know you did, he did some blood work the other day. I don't actually know what they're going to do. Yeah, anyways, let's all pray for Byron. <laughs> I honestly cannot go to sleep right now. I have so much like weird, crazy energy. Like I need to run around and stuff. Like, ooh, I think it's cabin fever. I think it's cabin fever. Me and Byron are in the office. This is our office. It is our office. I'm gonna show our office. It is. It is. Um, it's. 11 o'clock and we should be going to sleep because I think Byron is going to work tomorrow to we both don't work tomorrow But I think Byron are you gonna to go to work tomorrow to talk to everyone? Yeah, I think I'm gonna to go to work tomorrow and talk to everyone about coronavirus as well <sighs> We're gonna spend so much time together over the next two weeks It's Monday morning. What a strange time. I'm definitely tired. Like, I don't look not good. But I'm heading to the office. I need to make some announcements with the staff because the CDA recently as of like last night, why, like why couldn't they do this on Friday so that we could prepare for the whole week, you know? They announced that we need to basically close for two weeks. It's a recommendation, not necessary, but it is a huge recommendation, so we have to take it seriously. Um, so I'm going to the office. We are going to see patients as normal today because most of them are deliveries and I don't want people to be in their temporaries for like forever. Um, but after that, we are basically having to reschedule everyone. So we'll see. The dog's happy at least. So I just broke the news to my team that we are closing for two weeks, her. We get to hang out for two weeks. Um, this is a really scary. For how long can my office go without producing any money? You know? What are my staff gonna do? You know? I know you don't know. Nobody knows. So, I'm gonna be on the Facebook forums today figuring that shit out. I'm low-key flipping out. We just, we had full hygiene. We had full schedule for this week. We canceled everyone. I think I just need to go do the Peloton right now. I did not sleep well. I'm not, I'm not handling things well. <laughs> well, I think emotionally I am for what's going on. I just, I want to know what's going to happen to my staff. That's the most important thing to me right now. Um... Wednesday, 
the state mandated, actually no, it was Orange County mandated that businesses, non-essential businesses be closed. So that's me. I had to message all of my staff not to come in at all, um, which sucks. But here I am, it's nine o'clock and I'm at home and so is Byron. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Byron. What? You said we're gonna learn the TikTok dance today. Okay. Oh, there's this one for couples. Yeah. We're gonna do that one. Um, but yeah, when are we gonna do that? Schedule. Schedule tonight, it in. Tonight. Tonight? We have stuff to do this. I have stuff. Wait, can we do it at like eleven o'clock? No. I brought home this ring light. Byron will be brightly illuminated <laughs> while we dance. Priorities, dude. Dude, you're not even working. I, there's a lot of things I'm trying to do today. Yeah, so am I. So once you schedule it in, yeah, we'll be better. Well, I'm trying to schedule it in. At times when we don't have schedules, we need to create our own schedules. I have a lot to do too. Trust me, I have more to do than you. Okay. But I have priorities. <laughs> 